the truth about basketball player Damian Lillard. Damian Lamont Ali Lillard Sr., born July 15, 1990, is an American professional basketball player for the Portland Trail Blazers of the National Basketball Association, NBA. He played college basketball for the Weber State Wildcats and earned third-team All-American honors in 2012. After being selected by Portland with a sixth overall pick in the 2012 NBA draft, Lillard was unanimously voted the NBA Rookie of the Year. He has received five NBA All-Star selections and is one of two players in Trail Blazers franchise history, along with Clyde Drexler, to become a five-time All-Star. Personal life, Lillard posing with fans in July 2012, Lillard wears the jersey number number zero, representative for the letter O in his journey in life. From Oakland, to Ogden, and now Oregon, Lillard is a Christian. He has a scripture on his left arm of Psalms 37 1-3. He completed his degree in professional sales from Weber State University in May 2015. Lillard's sister, Lana, attended Lake Ridge High School. His brother Houston, who earned a football scholarship to Southeast Missouri State after playing football in the junior college level at Laney College, is an indoor football league quarterback. Indiana, 2020-21 season, he became teammates of his cousin, Kelgen Blevins. On March 29, 2018, Lillard had his first child. A son named Damian Jr. They live in the affluent Portland neighborhood of West Lynn, where Lillard established a respect program to help high school kids in the area graduate. In 2012, Lillard signed a multi-year sponsorship deal with Adidas. In 2014, Lillard negotiated a new contract with Adidas potentially worth $100 million over 10 years. Lillard has a signature shoe line with Adidas, the Adidas Dame. In 2017, Lillard signed a sponsorship deal with Powerade, a subsidiary of the Coca-Cola company. Lillard also has endorsement deals with Spalding, Panini, Foot Locker, JBL, Biofreeze and Moda Health. In 2019, Lillard became one of a number of NBA players to sign a contract with Hulu to promote the streaming service's new campaign of adding live sports to their repertoire. Lillard revived the Never Worry Picnic in Brookfield Park after his standout rookie season in 2013. The East Oakland event was discontinued when he was at age 12. In 2020, Lillard, along with longtime friend and business partner Brian Sanders, became co-owner of a Toyota dealership, now known as Damian Lillard Toyota, in McMinnville, Oregon. Career, High School Career Lillard began his high school career at Royal High School in San Lorenzo, California, and joined the varsity starting lineup as a 5 feet 5 in, 1.65 m, freshman. He sought to transfer when his coach did not return to the team. For his sophomore year, Lillard transferred to St. Joseph Notre Dame High School in Alameda, California, the same private school that had produced former NBA point guard Jason Kidd. But by year's end, a lack of playing time prompted Lillard to transfer schools yet again. He went on to play for coach Orlando Watkins at Oakland High School, where he was first team all-league his junior and senior years. Over his junior campaign, Lillard averaged 19.4 points a night. As a senior, he averaged 22.4 points and 5.2 assists per game while leading the Oakland Wildcats to a 23-9 record. Regarded only as a two-star prospect by Rivals.com, Lillard was not heavily recruited out of high school, but he accepted a scholarship offer to play for Weber State, a Big Sky Conference program in Ogden, Utah. College career, as a freshman at Weber State, Lillard averaged 11.5 points per game and was named the Big Sky Conference Freshman of the Year and First Team All Big Sky. In his sophomore year, he raised his scoring average to 19.9 points per game and led the Wildcats to the conference championship. At the end of the season, Lillard was named the Big Sky Player of the Year and was an honorable mention All-American by the Associated Press. Indiana, 2010-11, Lillard led the Big Sky in scoring with 19.7 points per contest before suffering a foot injury 10 games into the season that forced him to take a medical redshirt and sidelined him for the rest of the year. As a redshirt junior, Lillard averaged 24.5 points and led the nation in scoring throughout most of the year but ended up finishing second to Oakland University's Reggie Hamilton. On December 3, 2011, against San Jose State, Lillard scored a college career-high 41 points, including a game-clinching three-point play to give Weber State a 91-89 double overtime win. At the end of the year, he was named to his third first-team all-conference selection and won his second Big Sky Player of the Year award. Lillard was also a finalist for the Bob Cousy Award. Widely regarded as the top point guard prospect in the country, Lillard decided to skip his senior season to enter the 2012 NBA Draft. He finished his college career as the number two scorer in Weber State history, 1,934 points, and the number five scorer in Big Sky history. Professional career, 
Portland Trail Blazers, 2012 present, 2012 13 season, Rookie of the Year. Lillard attempts a jump shot over Draymond Green with the Trail Blazers in January 2013. Lillard was selected with the sixth overall pick in the 2012 NBA draft by the Portland Trail Blazers. In the season opener against the Los Angeles Lakers on October 31, Lillard recorded 23 points and 11 assists to join Oscar Robertson and Allen Iverson as the only players in NBA history with at least 20 points and 10 assists in their NBA debut. In addition, his 11 assists were the most by an NBA rookie in his first game since Jason Kidd, 11, in 1994, and the most ever by a Trail Blazer in his NBA debut. Lillard made a career-high 15 field goals and a Trail Blazer rookie record 7 three-pointers on January 11 against the Golden State Warriors, where he finished with 37 points, 6 rebounds, and 4 assists. He became the first Trail Blazer to win an event at the NBA All-Star Weekend, winning the Skills Challenge. He also participated in the Rising Stars Challenge during All-Star Weekend and finished with 18 points, 3 rebounds and 5 assists in a game-high 28 minutes. Lillard became the first NBA rookie to record 35 points, 9 assists and 0 turnovers in a game since turnovers became a stat in 1978-79 against the San Antonio Spurs on March 8. On April 10 against the Lakers, Lillard scored a season-high 38 points. He earned Western Conference Rookie of the Month honors for every month, becoming one of just eight players to sweep NBA Rookie of the Month honors since the inaugural award in 1981-82. He finished fifth in the NBA in three-pointers made, 12th in points per game, tied for 16th in assists per game and tied for 23rd in free throw percentage. He was one of 10 NBA players to score 1,500 points, and he led all rookies in scoring, 19.0 PPG, assists, 6.5 APG, field goals, 553, and free throws, 271. With averages of 19.0 points, 3.1 rebounds, 6.5 assists, 0.90 steals, and 38.6 minutes in 82 games, all starting, Lillard not only claimed the NBA Rookie of the Year award but joined Blake Griffin, 2011, David Robinson, 1990, and Ralph Sampson, 1984, as the only unanimous winners. He also joined Oscar Robertson and Allen Iverson as the only rookies in NBA history to tally in excess of 1,500 points and 500 assists for a season. Lillard became the fourth Trail Blazer in franchise history to win NBA Rookie of the Year honors and one of two to ever finish a season with at least 1,500 points and 500 assists, the other being Clyde Drexler in 1986-87 and 1991-92. Among other distinctions, he broke the all-time NBA rookie record for three-pointers in a season, 185, surpassing Stephen Curry's 166 three-pointers in 2009 October. Became the Portland franchise leader for most three-point field goals in a season, breaking Damon Stoudemire's record of 181 in 2004 May. And became the first rookie to lead the NBA in total minutes played, 3,167 since Elvin Hayes in 1968-69. 2013-14 season, first All-Star selection, in the season opener on October 30th, Lillard scored 32 points against the Phoenix Suns. He had a second 32-point effort on December 7th against the Dallas Mavericks. On December 17th, he had 36 points, 10 assists, and 8 rebounds against the Cleveland Cavaliers. The following day, he had a second straight 36-point effort against the Minnesota Timberwolves. On January 7th, in a 123-119 loss to the Sacramento Kings, Lillard scored a career-high 41 points, including 26 in the fourth quarter to break Portland's franchise record for most points in any quarter. On February 7th, he had a 38-point effort against the Indiana Pacers. During All-Star Weekend, Lillard became the first player in NBA history to take part in five events during the All-Star festivities, the Rising Stars Challenge, Skills Challenge, Three-Point Contest slam dunk contest, and the All-Star Game. Lillard started 82 Albanian Lex games for the second straight year and averaged 20.7 points, 5.6 assists and 3.5 rebounds per game. Portland finished fifth in the Western Conference with a 54-28 record and faced the Houston Rockets in the first round of the 2014 NBA playoffs. In Game 1 of the series, Lillard recorded 31 points and 9 rebounds in his first playoff appearance to help propel Portland to a 122-120 overtime win over Houston. In Game 6 of the series, Lillard became the first player to make a buzzer-beating shot to win a playoff series since Utah's John Stockton against Houston in 1997. 
Lillard's three-pointer as time expired gave Portland a 99-98 victory over Houston, as he finished with 25 points to lift the Trail Blazers to their first playoff series win since 2000. The Trail Blazers went on to lose in five games to the San Antonio Spurs in the second round. Lillard had a series best game in Game 4 with a 25-point effort, helping the Trail Blazers win their sole game of the series. At the season's end, Lillard was named to the All-NBA third team. 2014-15 season, for the third straight season, Lillard started 82 Albanian Lex games for the Trail Blazers. He averaged career highs in points, rebounds, steals, and field goal percentage, but averaged a career low 34% from three-point range. He shot well during the first two months of the season, before struggling with his shot from January onwards. Despite this, he set the record for most three-pointers in a player's first three seasons, led the team in win shares, and finished second in PER. On December 19, 2014, he scored a career-high 43 points in a 129-119 triple overtime win over the San Antonio Spurs. Four days later, he had a 40-point effort against the Oklahoma City Thunder. On January 5, 2015, he had a 39-point effort against the Los Angeles Lakers. On February 8, 2015, Lillard was selected as a replacement for the injured Blake Griffin in the 2015 NBA All-Star Game. On March 4, 2015, Lillard recorded a career-high 18 rebounds in a 98-93 win over the Los Angeles Clippers. The Trail Blazers finished the regular season as the fourth seed in the Western Conference with a 51-31 record. They faced the Memphis Grizzlies in the first round of the playoffs, where they lost in five games. Lillard shot 16% from three-point range during the series, hitting just 5 of 31 including going 0 of 6 in Game 1. 2015-16 season, All-NBA second team selection. Lillard being defended by Russell Westbrook with the Trail Blazers in January 2016, on July 9, 2015, Lillard signed a five-year, $120 million contract extension with the Trail Blazers. On October 28, 2015, Lillard recorded 21 points and 11 assists in a season-opening win over the New Orleans Pelicans. His one three-pointer made during the game was his 600th career three-point field goal, making him the fastest NBA player in history to reach the mark at 247 games. In addition, Lillard's 11 assists gave him 1,500 for his career, making him the fastest trailblazer to reach the milestone since Terry Porter, 1987-88 season, 215 games. In the following game on October 30 against the Phoenix Suns, Lillard became the fastest player to reach 5,000 points and 1,500 assists, 248 games, since Derrick Rose, 240 games. On December 12, in a loss to the New York Knicks, Lillard became the first Blazer since Clyde Drexler in 1991-92 to record 600 points and 150 assists during the team's first 25 games. On December 21st, Lillard missed the first game of his career with plantar fasciitis in his left foot, ending his streak of playing in 275 consecutive games. Backcourt partner CJ McCollum also missed the game, leaving the Trail Blazers without their two leading scorers to face the Atlanta Hawks, subsequently losing the game 106-97. He missed a further six games with the injury, returning to action on January 4 against the Memphis Grizzlies and recording 17 points and 7 assists in a 91-78 loss. On January 8, he scored a then-season-high 40 points in a loss to the Golden State Warriors. On January 18, in a win over the Washington Wizards, he hit his 2000th NBA field goal, one of only eight players to reach that mark since he entered the league in 2012-13. On January 26, in a win over the Sacramento Kings, Lillard recorded 15 points and 13 assists for his 10th double-double of the season, a career high. On February 19, he scored a career-high 51 points in a 137-105 win over the Golden State Warriors. He became the first player in NBA history to have at least 50 points, 7 assists and 6 steals since the steal became an official statistic in 1973-74. Two days later, he scored 30 points against the Utah Jazz, becoming the first Blazer to score at least 30 points in four consecutive games since Drexler accomplished the feat in 1991. He extended that streak to five in the team's following game on February 23 against the Brooklyn Nets. Over his first 300 games in the NBA, Lillard averaged 21.2 points and 6.2 assists per game. Only four other players in NBA history averaged 21 points and 6 assists over their first 300 games, Oscar Robertson, 30.2 and 10.3, Nate Archibald, 
24.5 and 8.4, Lebron James, 26.7 and 6.4 and Dwayne Wade, 24.0 and 6.4. On March 4, he had his second 50-point game of the season in a 117-115 loss to the Toronto Raptors. On March 8, Lillard had 41 points and 11 assists in a 116-109 overtime win over the Washington Wizards, recording his 15th straight game with 20-plus points. He also had his 400th assist of the season, making him the first Trailblazer with 400-plus assists in each of his first four seasons. In the Trailblazer season finale on April 13 against the Denver Nuggets, Lillard hit his 827th career three-pointer, besting Wesley Matthews' Portland franchise record of 826. Lillard finished the regular season with an average of 25.1 points per game, while C.J. McCollum averaged 20.8, making them the first backcourt in Blazers history to average 20 or more points apiece. Lillard also became the third Blazer to average 25-plus points, joining Drexler and Kiki Van de Wet. In the 2016 MVP race, he finished 8th in total points received, scoring 26 points out of a possible 13-10 points. After defeating the Los Angeles Clippers in the first round of the playoffs, the Trail Blazers moved on to face the Golden State Warriors in the second round. In Game 3 of the series, Lillard recorded 40 points and 10 assists to help the Trail Blazers win 120-108, cutting the Warriors' advantage in the series to 2-1. The Trail Blazers went on to lose the series in five games. 2016-17 season, in the Trail Blazer season opener on October 25, 2016, Lillard recorded 39 points on 13 of 20 shooting, as well as 9 rebounds and 6 assists in a 113-104 win over the Utah Jazz. With his first assist of the night, Lillard passed Jim Paxson for 6th on the franchise career list, 2008. Four days later, he scored 37 points, including the go-ahead floater with less than a second remaining in overtime, to lead the Trail Blazers to a 115-113 win over the Denver Nuggets. With 27 points against the Phoenix Suns on November 2, Lillard became the first NBA player to score 27 or more points in each of his team's first five games since Kobe Bryant in 2005 June. Lillard's 163 points in the season's first five games are the most ever by a Blazer to start a season. Two days later, Lillard scored 27 of his season-high 42 points in the second half of the Trail Blazers' 105-95 win over the Dallas Mavericks. With 38 points on November 8 against Phoenix, Lillard had 262 points over the first eight games of the season, the most through the first eight games of a season in franchise history. It was also the most by an NBA player since Bryan had 264 through the first eight in 2009 October. Lillard amassed a team record 695 points in the Blazers' first 25 games of the season, eclipsing Clyde Drexler's previous mark of 681 in 1988. He went on to miss five games between December 26 and January 4 after spraining his left ankle against San Antonio on December 23. On January 28 against Golden State, Lillard reached 8,000 career points, becoming the 11th Blazer to hit the mark and join Michael Jordan and LeBron James as the only three players to reach 8,000 points and 2,000 assists in their first five seasons. On March 19, Lillard scored a season-high 49 points, tied a career-high with nine three-pointers, and carried the Trail Blazers past the Miami Heat, 115-104. On April 3, 2017, he was named Western Conference Player of the Month for games played in March. Behind Lillard, the Trail Blazers went an NBA Best 13-3 in March to surge into 8th place in the Western Conference. Lillard ranked 3rd in the NBA in scoring, 29.1 ppg, and tied for 4th in 3-pointers made, 55, to go with 6.0 assists, 4.4 rebounds and 1.44 steals in 16 games. Five days later, Lillard scored a franchise record 59 points and matched his career high with nine three-pointers to lead the Trail Blazers to a 101-86 win over the Jazz. It was Lillard's 27th game of the season with 30 or more points, a franchise high. He also became the fifth Blazer to score 2,000-plus points in a season. After being 10 games under .500 at the All-Star break, Lillard helped the Trail Blazers to an 18-8 late-season surge to earn them the number 8 seed in the Western Conference with a 41-41 record. They faced the Golden State Warriors for the second straight year in the playoffs, this time in the first round. Portland went on to lose the series in a clean sweep despite Lillard's 34-point effort in Game 4. For the series, Lillard averaged 27.8 points, 
4.5 rebounds, 3.3 assists and 1.3 steals per game while shooting 43% from the field, 28% from behind the arc, and 96% from the free throw line. On May 2, 2017, he was named the recipient of the Magic Johnson Award for the 2016-17 season, which honors the player who best combines excellence on the basketball court with cooperation and dignity in dealing with the media and the public. 2017-18 season, All-NBA First Team Selection Lillard in 2018, on October 28, 2017, in a 114-107 win over the Phoenix Suns, Lillard reached the 9,000-point milestone during the third quarter. With 402 career games, Lillard became the fastest Blazer to score 9,000 points. On November 15, he had 26 points, 11 rebounds and 7 assists in a 99-94 win over the Orlando Magic. During the game, he surpassed Michael Thompson, 9,215 points, for 8th on the franchise's all-time scoring leaders list. On November 27, he scored 32 points in a 103-91 win over the New York Knicks. He finished the game on 2,575 career assists, moving him past Rod Strickland into fourth place on Portland's career assists list. Lillard also joined Clyde Drexler and Terry Porter as the only players in franchise history in the top 10 in scoring and top 5 in assists. On December 9, he tied a franchise record with 9 three-pointers and scored 35 points in a 124-117 loss to the Houston Rockets. Two days later, he scored a then-season-high 39 points with five three-pointers in a 111-104 loss to the Golden State Warriors. Lillard dealt with a hamstring injury late in December before straining his right calf in early January. On January 12, he scored 23 points in a 119-113 loss to the New Orleans Pelicans. He moved into seventh in franchise history and scoring with 9,753 points, passing Jeff Petrie, 9,732. On January 22, Lillard was named Western Conference Player of the Week for games played January 15 to 21. It was his fourth career Player of the Week nod. A day later, he was named a Western Conference All-Star Reserve. On February 2, he scored 32 points in a 130-105 loss to the Toronto Raptors, becoming the fastest player in franchise history to reach 10,000 points for his career. He became the eighth player to get 10,000 points and 2,500 assists in his first six seasons, joining Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Larry Bird, Nate Archibald, Pete Maravich, Dave Bing and Oscar Robertson. On February 9, in a 118-100 win over the Sacramento Kings, Lillard scored a season-high 50 points in 29 minutes, the fourth 50-point game of his career. He scored 22 points in the third quarter before sitting out the entire fourth quarter. He shot 16 of 26 from the field with eight three-pointers to go with 10 of 10 free throws. On February 14, he had 44 points and eight assists in a 123-117 win over the Warriors. 69, on February 24, he had a go-ahead layup with 0.9 seconds left and finished with a game-high 40 points in a 106-104 win over the Suns. 19 of his 40 points came in the fourth quarter, as he helped the Trail Blazers rally from 15 down in the final? 7 and 1 half minutes. In five games between February 9 and 24, Lillard scored 197 points, the most points for a Blazer over a five-game stretch in franchise history. Lillard averaged 31.4 points per game in February, clinching the highest scoring average for any month in Portland history. He passed Jeff Petrie's record of 30.4 points in March 1971. On March 3 against the Oklahoma City Thunder, Lillard made at least one three-pointer in his 45th straight game, setting a franchise record. With nine assists on March 15 against the Cleveland Cavaliers, Lillard became the third player in league history to have 1,500-plus points and 400-plus assists in each of his first six seasons. On March 20 against Houston, Lillard's franchise record streak of 52 games with a three-pointer ended. In the Trail Blazers season finale on April 11, Lillard recorded 36 points and 10 assists in a 102-93 win over the Utah Jazz. The win earned the Trail Blazers the third seed in the playoffs with a 49-33 record. Lillard finished the regular season tied for fourth in scoring average in the NBA, 26.9 Drexler was the last Blazer to rank among the league's five best in scoring when he finished fourth during the 1991-92 season, 25.0. For the season, he was named to the All-NBA First Team, becoming the third player in franchise history to earn All-NBA First Team honors, joining Clyde Drexler.
1991-92, and Bill Walton, 1977-78. Additionally, he placed fourth in the 2018 MVP race, winning 207.0 of the 1010 possible points. In Game 4 of the Trail Blazers' first round playoff series against the Pelicans, Lillard scored 19 points in a 131-123 loss. The loss eliminated Portland from the playoffs, as they lost the series in a four-game sweep. Lillard never scored more than 20 in the series and was held below that three times. 2018-19 season, Western Conference Finals, in the Trail Blazers season opener on October 18, 2018, Lillard scored a game-high 28 points in a 128-119 win over the Los Angeles Lakers. On October 25, he scored 34 of his 41 points in the second half of the Trail Blazers 128-114 win over the Orlando Magic. On October 27, he scored 42 points in a 120-111 loss to the Miami Heat, eclipsing the 11,000-point mark. On November 16, he had five assists against the Minnesota Timberwolves to pass Damon Stoudemire, 3,018 for third on the team's career list. Two days later, he scored 40 points in a 119-109 win over the Washington Wizards. On November 28, he scored 41 points and set a franchise record with 10 three-pointers in a 115-112 win over the Magic. His seven three-pointers in the third were a franchise record for a quarter. On December 17, he scored 22 of his 39 points in the third quarter of the Trail Blazers 131-127 win over the Los Angeles Clippers. On December 27, he had a go-ahead three-pointer with 6.3 seconds left in overtime and scored 21 points in a 110-109 win over the Golden State Warriors. Two days later, he hit six three-pointers and scored 40 points in a 115-105 loss to the Warriors. It was his fifth 40-point game of the season, tying a career high. On January 14, in a 115-107 loss to the Sacramento Kings, Lillard scored 35 points to become the fastest player in Portland history to reach 12,000 for his career. Additionally, Lillard scored in double figures in his 184th consecutive game, breaking a tie with Clyde Drexler for the franchise record. With 24 points against the Phoenix Suns on January 24, Lillard reached 1,311 points for the season, the most by any Portland player through 50 games. On March 7, he scored a season-high 51 points in a 129-121 overtime loss to the Oklahoma City Thunder. On March 15, he scored 24 points in a 122-110 win over the New Orleans Pelicans, becoming the second leading scorer in franchise history, passing La Marcus Aldridge, 12,562 to sit behind only Drexler, 18,040. With 31 points and 12 assists in a double overtime victory over the Brooklyn Nets on March 25, Lillard recorded his 20th career game of at least 30 points and 10 assists, passing Drexler for the most such games in franchise history, 19. On April 1, he was named Western Conference Player of the Week for the week ending March 31, marking the seventh weekly honor of his career and the first of the 2018-19 season. In April, he became the first Blazer to have 2,000 points and 500 assists in the same season, and the only Blazer besides Drexler to reach 2,000 points in two seasons with the team. He also passed his franchise record of 229 three-pointers set in the 2015-16 season and reached 1,500 for his career. Lillard placed sixth in the 2019 MVP race, receiving 69 of the 1,010 available points. This marked the third time in four seasons that he had placed among the top eight in MVP voting. On April 23, Lillard hit a 37-foot, game-winning three-pointer at the buzzer and finished with a playoff career-high 50 points to help the Trail Blazers eliminate the Thunder from the playoffs in five games with a 118-115 victory. He had 10 three-pointers, breaking the franchise record. In Game 1 of the second round, Lillard scored 39 points in a 121-113 loss to the Denver Nuggets. In Game 6, he scored 32 points in a 119-108 win, helping the Trail Blazers tie the series against the Nuggets at 3-3. In the deciding Game 7, he scored 13 points on 3 of 17 shooting in a 100-96 win, advancing the Trail Blazers to the Western Conference Finals for the first time since 2000. In Game 2 of the Conference Finals, Lillard separated his ribs, but continued to play through the pain for the rest of the series, a series the Trail Blazers lost in a four-game sweep to the Warriors. 
2019-20 season, on November 8, 2019, Lillard recorded a then career-high 60 points, though it came in a loss to the visiting Brooklyn Nets, 115-119. He would surpass that on January 20, 2020, by scoring 61 points to go along with 10 rebounds and 7 assists in a 129-124 overtime win versus the Golden State Warriors. From January 20 through February 1, Lillard had a six-game stretch of averaging 48.8 points per game. He also reported his first career triple-double on January 29 by registering 36 points, 10 rebounds, and 11 assists in a 125-112 victory over the Houston Rockets. The historic scoring run earned him back-to-back -back Western Conference Player of the Week awards. On January 30, Lillard was selected to his fifth All-Star nod but was unable to participate due to a groin injury. He missed six games from February 21 to March 2. Lillard returned to play in the last four Blazers games before the NBA hiatus due to the COVID-19 pandemic. During the span, he averaged 20.8 points, 3.8 rebounds, 6 assists, and 1.8 steals per contest while shooting 40% from the field, 41.2% on three-pointers, and 87.5% at the free-throw line. On June 30, 2020, Lillard was selected to be the cover athlete for NBA 2K21. In Portland's fourth game in the Orlando bubble, upon returning from the four-month hiatus, Lillard recorded 45 points and 12 assists in a 125-115 win over the Denver Nuggets on August 6. Three days later, he would follow that up with a 51-point, 7-assist performance to lead the Trail Blazers to 124-121 victory over the Philadelphia 76ers. On August 11, Lillard erupted for 61 points, tying a career high, and 8 assists en route to a 134-131 win over the Dallas Mavericks. This was his third 60-point outing of the season, joining Wilt Chamberlain as the only two players in league history to have such games three times in a single season.